Hi, I'm Alexandra McCauley and I'm a Fast GFT practitioner. And the video I'm doing today is about trying to be perfect, trying to meet perfection. Um, I've been married for a year today. It's our one year anniversary and that has caused me to reflect, <laughs> caused us to reflect over the last year over the things that have happened. And I can see so much progress I have made. I found Faster EFT um, a year and a half ago. And the change in me since then is astounding. My husband as well says that the change in me has amazed him um, in so many little ways. Um, a year and a half ago, I really was very unhappy. On paper, things looked as though they'd already started to improve for me. I had been suffering with chronic fatigue and ME for many years and I had used other processes to get over some of those symptoms and I'd found fast EFT and it was helping me dramatically. But a year and a half ago I was still very anxious, I was still really reacting with fight or flight, I was still feeling very unhappy, very unsure and now when I look back especially over the last year of using fast EFT, being a fast EFT practitioner, I can see the layer upon layer upon layer of belief, uh, beliefs I'd had about myself, about the world, that I've changed, um, layers of anxiety, things I was worrying about, um, the things I used to think, the things that occurred to me, the way they affected me, the way that they kept me feeling unhappy and uncomfortable and anxious, and I am so, so grateful today for um, for <laughs> shit <laughs> fast EFT and I just swore not that it really matters um, <sighs> it's been a difficult year in some ways when you really start to work on yourself and you really address things it's not it's not an easy process but it's a such a worthwhile one and I have experienced many things that I'll talk about in other videos um, now the thing I want to talk about today is perfection this striving for perfection and I'm doing this video in my attic on a webcam with an old microphone and I haven't spent 25 minutes preparing um, the scene and setting up my camcorder in a different room, trying to get myself into exactly one third of the screen so that the video is perfect. I haven't planned what I'm going to say for hours um, and I don't intend to edit this at all. I intend to put it up exactly as it is. And this for me is a challenge to just do something and put it out there. It doesn't have to be perfect. One of the things I've noticed, um, I've changed so much over the last year and I am doing a lot more of the things I really want to be doing now, but there's still something holding me back um, and I notice that and I experience it as a need to do things incredibly well, to really be the very best at it I can possibly be, to really meet some kind of standard of perfection and I notice that I'm still doing that in many areas of my life. So different examples would be, in case this resonates with you, the videos, when I'm trying to do videos. I really want to put out more videos. What I feel is holding me back is the need to make every video the very best video that I could ever, ever do, that anyone's ever seen. What that actually leads to, that striving for perfection, is no videos at all. Uh, a lot of setup time, trying to get it just right, worrying about whether it's right or not, um, and then trying to edit the videos afterwards and realizing I haven't quite said the right thing, and then never getting around to putting it out anyway. My striving, f you know, striving for it to be perfect is leading to no videos being put out at all. In other areas, it's simple things like I really want to read more books, I really want to read more novels. Um, I was a student for a long time, I was working a lot, I was having to read around my subjects and I didn't really read other books very often. Now when I go to pick up a novel, what I'm thinking in my head, what I'm doing in my mind is I'm saying to myself, 
Just think of all those other books I haven't read yet. The bookcases full of books that I haven't read yet. I can't believe I haven't read those books yet. I should have read those books by now. This book probably isn't even as important to read as all these other books. By the time I've finished that thought process, I don't want to read that book anymore. And I'm still not reading novels. I'm still not reading those books. Because I'm not just sitting down and reading something for pleasure. I have these thoughts, these processes going on in my head. I'm thinking about things I should have done already. I'm thinking about what I've missed out on through being unwell or ill in my life or or because of the other commitments I'd had. Um, I really love drawing. I love painting, but I still don't do it. Um, so I, I think about what am I doing in my head? Well, when I come to try and do a drawing or a painting, I'm not thinking just about enjoying it for pleasure. I'm thinking, oh, all those years when I should have been drawing, I can't believe I haven't done it by now. I should be better than this. Not only that, when I start to draw, I think to myself, this has got to be really brilliant to justify the time I'm spending on this. This has got to be the best drawing I've ever done. This has got to be better than a professional artist. People have got to love this drawing. I've got to be able to sell this drawing to justify doing it. These are the thought processes going on in my mind. And what happens? The end result is there aren't any drawings. I'm not drawing. The striving for perfection, to make everything perfect, to make everything the absolute best it could ever possibly be before you even start, that's what's stopping me from being productive. Now you hear this phrase a lot and you hear it in Fast JFT a lot too. The lowest standard you can ever have is perfection because you're never going to meet it. You also hear the phrase, we are perfect in our imperfection. And the message I want to give myself today and the message I want to put in this video is things can be so much easier if you just stop trying so hard. Um, go in and address these issues. So how do you address these issues? So this is an improvement for me, but I am still struggling with this. So I'm aware of what I'm doing in my head. So what am I going to do? I'm going to tap that out when I notice it. Um, I look at the novel, I'm about to pick it up and start reading. I notice that I have these thoughts in my mind. Notice what you're thinking, notice the nerves you're feeling, notice the frustration you're feeling with yourself that you haven't already done this in the past, that something that bothers you. Notice if you're seeing images in your mind, notice what you're thinking, notice what you're feeling in your body and tap it out. Tap it out until you can just sit there and read the book, <laughs> in my case. Um, Go back and look at early references you have for this. I know I have a number of memories of times when I felt um, very under pressure to perform, very under pressure to complete exams and do the very best I could. I remember the anxiety that went with it, I remember the feelings of pressure, I remember the belief I had that I had to succeed, otherwise it really would have dire consequences. Now that may not have been true at all, but that's the way I represented it to myself at the time. I intend to go back to some of those memories that are still there, still inside me, that I still remember the same way, and tap those feelings out to flip those memories, change those for myself. Take away some of that pressure. So that's really just what I wanted to say um, today about perfection. I'm going to do a sequence of videos today because I think my anniversary is a good time to do it. Uh, thanks for watching.